How's it going, everyone? It's Friday. Oh, doesn't it feel good to get to the weekend and to start the weekend off? I think could be a fun game of StarCraft 2. We have a purple Zerg here. I love the purple. I think purple works so well with the Zerg. But anyway, our player is Lambo from Germany. His opponent... Uh, yeah, well, you know that one. Ooh, 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 there we go. I'm in the right position. Is our blue Terran. He is Clem. Now, this could be a very fast-paced game because Clem likes to play tempo based he likes to really be whatever that sound is like you know you know what I mean <laughs> I'm making actions as if I've got a camera on but anyway Clem loves a tempo based game he loves attacking and attacking and then attacking and then after that what he does is he attacks some more uh, Lambo on the other hand an exceptionally clever Zerg player he knows this game really well this is also on data C again I don't have new maps yet I'm holding I'm waiting for some replays to come out for uh, a little bit of new maps but anyway I, th I don't think there's been any new tournaments on the new maps or the new balance patch but yeah back to this one uh, it could be a very good one here yeah, Lambo very clever Clem very fast very skilled um, Lambo's obviously Lambo's been around forever I can't even remember how long it is I, I looked um, I don't know a while ago. I haven't casted Lambo in a while, but I, d I did check a while ago, and he's been playing for a really long time. He's been a really good player for a very long time too. All right, this is a nice awkward situation. Go Zergling, go! Fnit, fnit, fnit! Yeah! Oh, fine. Just give up then. There you go. Exciting Starcraft. Look at the timings. They know the timings because there comes the Reaper. This Zergling's still going to go have a look around. The Reaper back and forth thing. That's not a word, but, you know, we'll go with it. Overlord gets to see everything. He's going to know the timing to get out. This ACV will be caught. Reaper's going to move around. He's going to see... Oh, wait, there's a third. Did he? Yeah, he saw the third base is up. And yeah, it's going to be a nice macro game. Data C obviously lends itself well to a macro game. Starport on the way for Clem, a couple of Hellions. Overlord knows it's got a little bit of time, but now you got to move it. Now the Marine's going to come. Yeah, there we go. Oh, crisp, crisp timings. And you just wish you could play like these guys. Like imagine, they just, oh, they're so clever. They're so clever, these pros. Like, if you're someone who doesn't watch a lot of StarCraft, I don't think you realize the little details and intricacies. Now, please, once again, I am bringing you the pleb edition of StarCraft, you know? My point of view as just a fan, someone who watches a lot of StarCraft, who plays a little bit of StarCraft. So, you know, I I'm giving you the, the real fanboy kind of side of it. Uh, some good damage could be going down here. Two drones. Actually, actually not bad defense. The queens came in at a good time there. Lambo. Yeah, good defense by Lambo. Helen's going to try to find something here, but there's nothing to find. Yeah, roast the egg. Yes. Keep on doing it. Surely eventually it'll work. Okay, he's going to get one now. And uh, the queens. Yep. They are. They're, they're, they're not quick. No, not at all. Banshee's going to be on the way. Lambo sees everything. He knows it is a tech lab on a starport. It's only one thing it could be. And uh, yeah, so he's going to be expecting the Banshees. We should see either a lair or a couple of spores. Surely he's not going to delay it too long. But then again, he knows the timing better than me. At least if it was me, I would have made spores already. But that's me. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Good bunch of Hellions here. Overlords do see them. So, uh, yeah, Lambo should be fine. He's got good vision. That means he can rotate his queens around. So if you're a Zerg player... Okay. Ooh, he's got the Abatha voice, uh, voice pack. But yeah, if you're playing against Terran and you know it's an alien opener, this is actually really good to do. Just to place your Overlords around so that you know exactly where those Hellions are. And you can rotate your queens around. Now, that is easier said than done, obviously. Uh, seeing it like this and seeing the pros do it, it's like, yeah, that's an easy thing to do. 
Um, I think positioning overlords is a is easy enough. You just got to remember to pull them back in time. Um, otherwise, they could die. Anyway, yeah. So we got double Evo plus the Roach Warren. Okay. Okay, I wonder what's this choice of Roach Warren and not sticking to the usual. I mean, Roaches is not the most uncommon thing in this matchup. But, um, yeah, generally, if I remember correctly, Lambo favors the uh, Ling Bane approach. Okay, we'll see the, what the Roaches do. Roach, Bane, or Roach, Zergling. Does he even have a Baneling's Nest? A Baneling's Nest or a Baneling Nest? Lol. Okay, here are the. Yeah, spores are up. Foreign gas. Blah. Okay, no damage getting done here. The Helians also can't really get in, so. Uh, Clem's trying to get a 1 2 punch here with the Banshee. Does get a couple. Obviously, Banshees are dangerous. Got high DPS. Two of them can one shot a worker. Good split on the Queens here by Lambo. Able to deflect both at the same time. I lost the Banshees. I hear them. Uh, they're coming in to get the Queens. Good, good. Good idea there from. Uh, from Lambo, so he gets a queen. So far, work account five workers down for only one SC or five drones and only one uh, SCV. Oh, they're transferring. I was like, "What is he gonna pull the boys?" I cannot believe that. We're gonna see the medevacs fly across. A couple of roaches are in the production. By a couple, I mean nine, because nine is a couple, you know, counting. Yes. I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling fresh today. I'm feeling ready for some good Starcraft. I'm so excited to see what happens after uh, a couple of tournaments on the new patch, and obviously Karavice, because Karavice is going to be played on the new maps. Now, if you don't know what Karavice is, that is essentially the World Championship. That's where we we highlight the best player in the world at that time. We call them the World Champion. It used to be BlizzCon when BlizzCon was still a thing, although apparently that's coming back this year, so that'll be exciting. Go! You can do it, Marine! Ah! Um, yeah, a bunch of upgrades finishing here on the side. That Marine, he tried his best. He tried. And I think I think that's that's beautiful. He really tried his best. A lot of roaches, so I think Lambert's going to go for a, a very sharp timing with these. He's bringing Queens and a bunch of Overlords. Okay. But yeah, Karavice is essentially where we crown the World Champion. And this year, it's going to be on a New Balance patch, which came out recently. Oh, look at the micro. Don't, 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 whoo, whoo. don't lose that drop a lord. Okay, Queens are here to help with the Banshees. Couple of Ravages. Queens obviously can't transfuse, so Lambo's getting his Overlords here to poop some creep. So that he can get, uh, gets hit by mines. So that he can get uh, some healing down on those Roaches and Ravages. He's going to push in here. Turning around, going into the third base, he wants a better area to uh, engage into. Gotta watch out with these overlords. A couple of dropping creep here for the queens to be able to transfuse. Yeah, I think Lambert's gonna want to try to fight at the top of this ramp. Make it difficult for the Terran. Clem so far is playing it quite patiently. A couple of workers are going down, but at the same time, a lot of roaches, a lot of ravages also starting to fall. Queen's not being as effective as I think they would have liked to be, but that is eight workers going down. Is it completely worth it? I'm not sure. Nine workers. Uh, in terms of resources, no, nah, I don't think that was worth it. And I'm gonna lose a bunch of overlords here in the process. Whoo! Yeah. Ouch. Not ideal for Lambo. I mean, I like the idea of the attack, but Clem was kind of ready for him. And now he's got some tanks. There was a lot of workers, though. That being said, Lambo is now super supply block. He is up more than 10 workers, though, which is really good. Ravages also, they can help to delay. Another CC coming up for Clem. 2-2 Two -two is on the way for both players. This is a dangerous push, though. The tanks are staying at home. So the tanks are staying at home for any roach attacks like this one. Along with the Banshees. It's a lot of roaches though. Clem's still a little bit ahead in army supply by a minor amount. You gotta be careful with the uh, Biles. Biles can deal a lot of damage. Will we lose more workers? I don't know. 
Okay, a good kiting here. Oof. Catches these roaches out of position. Going in once more. Don't step into your own miles. I mean, roaches are pretty good, but I think he's going to want to wait for plus two to finish. Fourth base is being saturated at this stage. Terran only on their three. And they haven't even gone for the gases yet. Not that it's a big thing. Okay, going engaging once more. Clem microing well enough. Splitting his army. He's got a tank in position. Tank's going to start shelling away. Yep, that signals a retreat for the Zerg player. Marauders hit pretty hard. Ugh. You know when they start to retreat or step into their own biles. I love this engagement in the middle of the map between these two players. They're really... It's a it's a boxing ring and they just they're just going at it. Punch, punch, punch. Jab to the ribs, jab to the throat. Even though you're not allowed to in boxing, but that's why I'm not a boxer. And I play Starcraft. I don't even know if I'd be able to box. Like maybe if the, maybe if my opponent was like a, a cardboard cutout, I reckon I should be able to get a good uh, boxing match off them. Anyway, moving on, we see more Roaches Ravages. Lambo's just going to push into this aggression. He's going to keep feeding it. Behind this is going for his fifth base. I think at some stage he's going to have to make a little bit of a transition. Roaches obviously do not scale well into the late game. Good for early game, good for mid game. Late game, they fall off pretty hard. These Zerglings going to try to get something done. Stimming Marines are going to come in. And at the same time, Lambo's going to push in a second direction. Tanks are sieging up. They're going to fall immediately to a couple of piles. Two more tanks at the back, dealing a lot of damage. Uh, make that three. I didn't see that one. Oh, there's actually a lot of tanks though. Now, oh, good damage was dealt there. Lambo is up in supply. Has lost a couple of workers. Did he lose more to the Banshee? I didn't even notice there. Or maybe just from building things. This army is quite low now. Yeah, but it's 162 supply to 140. This base is pretty much up and saturated. Could use another drone in the gas there. Upgrades pretty even. Plus, two, uh, plus 3 plus 3 is on the way for Clem. I'd love to see Lambo start that. But uh, yeah, the money is a little bit tight. So I think uh, he's prioritizing pushing with his army. This Banshee. No! It died to a bile. Good shooting there. Okay, drop coming in here. Getting six workers. Dealing a bit of damage. That's going to pull the Zerg player out of position. Yeah. Lambo. Uh, Lambo. Clem's just trying to buy himself a little bit of time. Look at the creep spread. The creep spread has been really good. At least in this middle section. It's come all the way down. Almost uh, touching the third base of Clem. Ling's coming in along with the Roach Ravager army. Some kiting being done. I think a medevac did fall to a bile there. It's almost a supply cap Lambo to a Clem. But remember, Roaches are a little bit of inflated supply. That being said, this could be a very dangerous attack. Going for some more workers while biling. He's just using the biles to zone out that bio army. Okay, now he's going to try to take the better engagement on the ramp. Okay, that's 14 more workers going down. So although Lambo's lost, he is still up in supply. Up in work account. It's reinforcing with more roach zergling. Bunch more roaches, bunch more zerglings. I think eventually he could break it. He had to move, uh, or he made, he forced Clem to move that base out of the way. Bunch more ravages. They're going to be uh, morphing a lot slower in the new patch. This is obviously not a great time for Lambert to be taking an engagement. Okay, there's the, there's the Ravagers. Wants to get out of range of the tank. Let it unsiege. Okay, it's retreating into tank line. Uh, th there needs to be a little bit of creep there. That, that could actually cost Clem a little bit. Uh, not Clem, Lambo. These two standing really nicely toe to toe. Nice and aggressive. Tank's going to fall to a couple of biles. Widow Mines, uh, Widow Mines, the Medivacs are very, running very low on energy. I'm struggling to get the sentences out. Lambo's army is busy disintegrating, but that being said, it's not like Clem has a big army of his own. Reinforcements are going to come in. This base is going to be in trouble once again. It's a lot of Ravagers still. And, uh, yeah, the Terran army is busy dwindling. 136 applied to 112. Don't think it's game over quite yet. 
But Lamp is just going to keep throwing roaches at this army. And I think it's good, but we are approaching the late game. He hasn't been remaking workers, and he hasn't got a transition up yet. Right? He doesn't have anything in the way of lurkers, or... He hasn't even got his plus three. And I worry, because that means that he is down an upgrade. And uh, it's going to be a while before he gets his plus three up. So, if he doesn't win the game in the next minute or so, I think Clem's going to be okay. Yes, Clem is down in supply, but... Yeah, he's he's going to have the stronger army with those upgrades. Okay, a bit of creep being planted here. That helps for mobility of the Zerg army. Good engagement here. The tanks are being taken out. Terran army is losing. Mostly. Yeah, there's a lot of Zerg here. There's a lot of Zerg. The natural is going to be exposed. The queens are here to help out. And I think... Lambo may just have squeezed this one out. Just with constant Ravager and Roach attacks. Just back and forth. Time and time again. Getting the Queens to come help out. The Roach Ravager are now moving into the natural. Queens are holding this little force. There is a Overlord providing vision. More workers are going down to the Lings over here. Uh, 143 supply to 94. The economy of Clem is in shambles. That being said, the army is busy dwindling. The Zerg army, but there's, there's not much Terran left in terms of the units. Six Marauders, seven Marines. Yeah. Yeah. I think that Marauder just attacked its own uh, depot. Mar uh, Roach Ravager now moving into the main base. There's so little Terran left. And that's going to give Lambo the better position. Now he is on top of the production. Once the production goes down, that means the Terran is just about dead. Clem is scrambling. Clem is trying his best. But Lambo. Lambo played a glorious game. GG. Right? That was good. I mean, I know it was just a Roach Ravager Zergling army. But he kept throwing it out. He was attacking. He was aggressive. Normally, it's Clem that does that. And I think Lambo just kind of figured him out. Instead of giving Clem that opportunity to get the tempo in his favor... Lambo just decided, well, you know what? I'm going to throw my stuff at you. Everything and the kitchen sink. And a Ravager. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. That was a pretty good game. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to like the video. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you for comments, everything like that. Um, I know my channel's a little bit small, but hey, I really enjoy what I'm doing. And I really hope that you enjoy the content I am bringing. Anyway, that's me done rambling. Have a fantastic weekend. Relax a bit. And I will see you in the next one.